Initial assessment and prioritization. The initial assessment and prioritization phase is a crucial part of the cybercrime investigation process. During this phase, investigators gather preliminary information about the incident and determine whether further action is warranted. Here are some key aspects of this phase. Incident reporting. Receive and analyze initial reports of suspected cybercrime. Assess the severity and potential impact of the reported incident. Initial data collection. Gather basic information about the affected systems, networks, and devices. Identify any visible signs of compromise or unauthorized access, risk assessment. Evaluate the potential damage and consequences of the incident. Determine if immediate action is required to mitigate ongoing threats, preliminary technical analysis. Conduct basic forensic analysis of available logs and system data. Look for indicators of compromise, IOCs, such as unusual login attempts or suspicious network activity, victim impact evaluation. Assess the financial and reputational impact on the victim. Organization. Determine if customer data has been compromised, legal considerations. Evaluate jurisdictional issues based on the location of victims, perpetrators, and evidence. Assess potential legal challenges in prosecuting the crime, resource allocation. Determine the level of resources needed for a full investigation. Decide if specialized teams are external. Experts are required. Communication planning. Develop strategies for communicating with stakeholders throughout the investigation. Prepare for potential media inquiries, evidence preservation. Implement measures to prevent further tampering or destruction of digital evidence. Document the current state of systems and data, collaboration initiation. Reach out to relevant law enforcement agencies or cybersecurity partners. Coordinate with internal IT teams and other departments within the organization. By thoroughly assessing the situation and prioritizing efforts, investigators can ensure that resources are allocated effectively and that the investigation is conducted efficiently and comprehensively. This phase sets the foundation for the subsequent stages of the investigation, including gathering and preserving evidence, analysis, and ultimately, identifying suspects and attributing crimes. Remember, the speed and thoroughness of this initial assessment can significantly impact the success of the entire investigation. It's crucial to balance the need for rapid response with careful consideration of all available information to make informed decisions about resource allocation and next steps.